Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I have finally made a link for the Christmas tree 3D decoration slash Christmas card. Uh, sorry for leaving you guys hanging. I probably responded to 20 or 30 of you directly, sent you this file, and then just got overwhelmed with replies and never got it out to the rest of you. So I've attached the files in the description of this video. There's a light burn file as well as just an SVG. So if you are a beginner, I'm going to show you what to do in light burn just to modify the size of this hole down here to suit your thickness of wood. If you don't do this, you won't be able to fit the Christmas tree into the base and it won't stand up. So I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. You can hit the start button, cut this out with your own laser and get it put up on the tree or given to your kids, your friends, whatever you want to do. So uh, yeah, thanks for checking out this video and here we go. Okay, so after you download and open the file in Lightburn, this is generally what you should see. Now you can go ahead and cut it if you're happy with the type of wood, but there is a modification I would recommend you make. You can also add the names to the little card down here by just right clicking on the text and going to edit, adding a name in here and then scaling it to sort of fit on that line. Uh, now as far as the pop-up sizing for the wood goes, you need to click on this red rectangle here in the middle and just change the height of it to match the wood you're going to be cutting this in. So you don't have to do anything with the width. The width is matched as long as you scale everything at the same time. But double click on this uh, rectangle and then go over here and just change the height to the height or sorry, to the thickness of the wood that you're going to be cutting this on. So for me, this is two and a half millimeter. I like to do 2.55 just to give it a little bit of wiggle room. If you're doing this on three mil, you'll probably want to go 3.05 again, just so there's that tiny bit of wiggle room to get the, uh, the base of the tree into the stand up base. Um, it's going to be tight. You're going to have to sort of force it in there, but that's the whole point. You don't want it falling out. So go ahead and make those changes and then you should be pretty much good to hit start. And with any luck, this is what you should be left with after the cut. So the tree should pop out pretty easily. Depending on your settings, you have the base, you have the tree. These balls should sort of stay attached. You can punch them out or leave them in, as well as the star. You can pop that out, put a piece of string through it, and hang it from the tree. And as long as you've got your base settings right, this will pop into there. It is pretty tight. You'll have to fight it in a little bit, but that's the whole point. You don't want it falling out, just like that ball did. So... Yeah, uh, I hope you found this easy to follow, easy to modify. If you like this uh, type of video, give me a subscribe or a thumbs up. It really helped me uh, sort of grow the channel and continue to put these projects out. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.